Hello there, and welcome to another episode of X4 with our Star Wars Interworlds mod 0.73. Um, we are on our little pirate playthrough. Um, this is going to be kind of like a bit of an update video, as well as, you know, cracking on a little bit with the pirate campaign. Um, I did drop a little post on the old YouTubes, um, sort of saying I'm having some computer issues um, which we'll, we'll go into on that episode. I've got the game kind of running stable at the minute. Admittedly, I've not done anything other than stand in this station and kind of look at uh, the map, organise some trades, get in uh, some of our stations finish off because these were all missing little, little bits and bats that weren't getting fulfilled. So we've got... Um, uh, one of our HWK 290s, one of our Hawks, out and about. Um, so yeah, uh, I just thought we'd go that. We've made a million while I've been on. I can't remember how long I've been on. Probably about half an hour or so. Um, we are getting there with the um, the Geonosians and making money with them. Uh, we're making money in our stations. We've nearly got two million in looks, so we're getting close to that uh, goal of the um, uh, what was it? The Aegean Ocean frigate. Um, so all that's kind of going well. Um, we could we need to do a few missions basically to get his reputation up with the ICG, so I can get hold of some more fancy ships that's going to be like a long-term goal goal of ours is working with the icg to basically build up um that rep i think last episode we joined their their war against the corporate sector authority uh, which is good um have we got any decent missions so contesting so these are all destructions heavy construction intelligence these never work for me, these scan ones. Um, find resources, supply a factory. No, thank you. Destroying things like that. Um, we'll pick up this. It's a, it's, it's a destroy my mission, which are boring. We know they're terrible, um, but it gives me a chance to kind of mindlessly yak about uh, some things that are going on as it stands at the minute. So, boom. We'll grab that little bit of cargo, whatever it is. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, um, at the minute, uh, for, for whatever reason, my computer has decided to um, start acting a little bit kind of um, unreliable. We've had a few weird crashes, a weird, a few weird freezes and stuff like that. Um, I know why. It's basically because the computer is old. <laughs> basically, um, I worked it out. Uh, I bought it when it was how long ago? Probably getting on for ten years ago, maybe maybe less, maybe six seven years ago. Um, it's had some RAM upgrades, but that's all all it had. It's still got the same i7 processor it had. It's still got the same. I think. Yay! Pay attention to that though. I think it's got a GTX um, 1070, maybe. Uh, in it, so it is. It is old, and all that stuff at the time was was, you know, new. Um, it was brand spanking new. Uh, it's the first time I've ever bought a computer from, like, a shop bought one, um, which was new for me. Prior to that, I always used to build all my own my own computers uh, and stuff like that. Uh, I've not checked the prices of building your own computers these days, but at the time there was uh, a little bit of a um, blip in prices when I bought this computer as regards to it was no longer cheaper for me to be able to buy a um, 
Oh, we can do that one as well. That will give us a little time limit, 20 minutes. Um, yeah, it was no longer like feasible to build a computer because they weren't cheaper and the bits, the bits, parts individually. Um, a lot of individual retailers where I used to get my parts from, such as uh, Dabs were always a big one, were all kind of folding. Uh, and the main places to be able to get computer parts from was Amazon. And I found because it was from Amazon, a lot of the prices actually went up because there was no one to kind of challenge Amazon um, because, you know, Amazon basically took over the world as regards to online um, trading. So it, 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 you know, it got expensive. So I, I bought a, uh, a computer. It was a HP, or it is, we're still using it. It's a HP Omen um, 8 something. It's a big old desktop computer. Uh, it's quite a cool design on it. Um, it was on sale when I got it as well uh, by quite a uh, significant amount. Shall we have a look at this? This scrap. Who's fighting? Who we got? Ooh, this could work out all right for us. Oh, we're in a Nimbus. If only we were in something bigger, we could uh, we could basically steal all its goods. Poor Acclimator. You want to go home? How about you surrender your ship to me and I will take your ship. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, it was a HP Omen 8, eight something. Um, and at the time, it was, it was Captain Fantastic. But obviously, uh, anyone who knows computers and computer parts, they relatively quickly... Um, fall out of favor oh that's some good missile hits uh fall out of favor and kind of like um break essentially not break but you know become obsolete um less Container. less good i suppose is a word uh not the right word but it is a word um obsolete i think is is the thing i'm working from so where is this uh i7 is it an eight 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 three hundred processor that's in it. I'm not sure. I can check. Um, was really good at the time. Um, now it's not so good. And I think it's basically the computer is 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 struggling uh, to keep up with all the modern day um, kind of like tasks uh, and and demands of games. Obviously, it doesn't help that the graphics card is pretty damn old as well. Although from what I've been kind of looking at the, the my graphics card isn't terrible there's definitely worse ones on there um so yeah all in all i think i've i'm stretching it to a point now where she's not particularly happy she is struggling which means when you're playing resource heavy games like x4 and a modded version of x4 at that um she's starting to kind of burst at the seams let's say um but you know which is manageable we can we can sort of um manage at the minute we can tick over but i've been finding when i've been doing playing x4 for longer times uh on some of the longer videos we're having um <clears throat> slight gameplay issues not just the gameplay issues as well obviously i use the same computer to edit with and Editing is becoming a little bit of a chore uh, as regards to kind of like processing speed and stuff like that. It's, it's basically just, yeah, it's not a happy bunny as it stands at the moment. Um, I have looked at some upgrades which will, uh, you know, kind of get it, get it there and future-proof it to a degree. Can I not pick up those missiles? No. Nope. Useful scrap. We'll take some useful scrap if you can get it. Um, wow. When you've got a ship with missiles, I find missile uh, missile dropping is it's really rare. But then when you're in a ship that can't take missiles, because this this says it can take missiles, but apparently that's 
uh, a mistake and it's going to be removed in the next update. Oh, well done for not going crazy over the asteroid. Um, yeah, so um, I've, I've, I know what I want for, to upgrade it. Um, it's going to cost me about four or five hundred pounds in total. But as it stands at the minute, um, money is tight, as I'm sure everyone can appreciate. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of like backed into a little bit of a corner. I'm, I'm going to see if there's any ways I can do any finagling. Um, we're not going to have to go for this mission, I don't think, because we're going to end up more ammunition containers. More, you say? What have we got going on here? The little Arquintons? Oh, you're dead, mate. Hate to say it, but you are going the way of the dinosaur. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to see if there's anything I can do, but I'm going to have to at some point bite that bullet. It might affect some of the streaming, uh, some of the episodes, uh, like X4 and that. Um, I don't know, really. It's, it's like I'm in a, in, in a really rubbish situation where... I know I know how to fix everything. Uh, I know what I need, but the the money's just not there. Um, you know this this is the downside of being off and declared medically uh, unwell and unable to work, um, as you may kind of like uh, appreciate. It sounds good being able to sit at home all day and do nothing which it is it sometimes you know i've watched quite a few series um i've, I've caught i've re-watched quite a few series as well um i've just finished watching uh last kingdom which i've been wanting to watch watch last kingdom for ages i think we've talked about bernard cornwall and being one of my uh favoritest authors i think that's it for now around here for scrap salvage but yeah um, the fact that there's no income uh, is, is frustrating to say the least um, but ho hum we will survive so um, I'm able to play other games quite comfortably um, there's other games that I've been looking at which aren't exactly the same as this but are um, of a similar kind of Vein, some older ones. Um, might do a playthrough of Dawn of War. Um, I've seen there's some, uh, some mods on that, some unification mods for the first Dawn of War. The computer will run that no problem at all. Um, there might be some older, older kind of like um, ship based games that we can do. We will have a look and have a see. Um, at that, I don't want to give up on X4 by any means, um, but you know, you got to adapt, haven't you? You got to kind of like adapt and, and thrive and survive and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like where we're at. So um, I've not. <laughs> we we are going to just leave the ship to autopilot because I hate Kessel for flying. You end up just crashing into everything. Um, even when you know the autopilot is wrong. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the update as regards to um, what's going on with the whole uh, computer issues and whatnot. Thank you. Can I claim? Oh, free ship. Crew. Uh, no, wrong screen. Uh, the ship. My ship. Where is my ship? I'm in the ship. There we go, Nimbus. Information, crew. I'm sure we have. Oh, I have no crew. I mean, there is an equipment dock there. So we might be able to get out and claim it. Is it is it actually broken? Yeah, it doesn't belong to anyone. So we're going to steal this ship. 
uh, I think. What did I do with the service crew in the Nimbus? Oh, we have got a, a backup pilot. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um... Now, there's a good reason why I'm not uh, particularly enthused about diving onto this equipment dock at the minute. If it's been attacked, uh, if parts of the station blow up and you happen to be in that part of the station, then uh, you blow up also, which is not good for your health. Um, I have done that before <laughs> when I've been trying to... Um, hand missions in at like the last minute uh i think it was was it when i was playing as an empire for the empire once um it's a new republic and I, I at the time i didn't really know what had happened i was like hmm i wonder what might happen um and i found out you die you die a horrific death you just basically stop existing um Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I want this ship. There we go. Claimed in the name of us. There we go. We can get in this ship. Lovely. Right. And we've, we've been in this ship for quite a while now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to send the Nimbus to dock with Queen Amidala's Revenge. And I have been reading... Every... Wow, this is a cockpit. I've never been in one of these. This is... Obviously, it's missing some guns. Um, what's actually attacking you? Oh, you sh... What? What's the health of uh, this bit? Do we have time to get in? Go see the mission person. So 53%. We should do. Right, I'm going to drop a quick save just in case we die a horrible fireball death. Uh, parking. There we go. Um, so, one of this video is not going to run very long. Um, mainly because, well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If my computer starts screaming its head off. Um, as it is wanting to do at the minute, um, it's it uh, will 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 drop it because that's when frames start dropping. And I've noticed as well it it start it's started skipping um, some um, explosion imminent. Of well, let's just <laughs> can we do some repairs on you? Yep, that's not actually hitting the ship. Thank you. That is though. Nice thing about light fighters, you can save a bit of money, repair your own ships. Um, much like my mentality of life. Repair your own cars, you save a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I... No. It's, uh, pardon? What actually killed me? Can I look around? What what was what was the what killed me? All right, cool. Um, well, let's reload the game then, shall we? Um, it's a good job we saved it. Usually, you can actually dock inside there. I was trying to avoid a death by because I don't know if this thing's going to get destroyed. Um, we'll probably leave this mission. We'll see what else is kicking around. Uh, Miners Guild might have some missions. They're always good fun to work for. Um, so yeah, we'll do it. We'll do a quick mission round here for them, or we'll see what's going on. Um, or let's just try and dock and grab this mission, and then 
vanish out. Although it's probably not going to be uh, worth it. Um, they're just rep grinders at the minute that we're looking for, trying to get that reputation up. Um, I know the HWK uh, shipyards make a lot of the ICG ships, but I the ships that I want for the fleet, they don't have. So that's why we're doing the um, rep for the ICG, because yes, uh, I think, I can't remember who pointed out in the comment section, you can buy the licenses for HWK, which I think we've done, most of them. Um, we own all the licenses. Um, while we're having a little bit of a load. The game might have crashed. Yes, the game might have crashed. So at this point, we're probably going to leave it because it doesn't look like things are going to load. This is what I'm living with. This is stands at the moment. This could be a game problem. It could just be my computer taking a big fart. Um, but yeah. Um, we'll just quickly address some comments, see if it does have a minute and comes back to life. So, uh, a few people asking if we can go to the war with the New Republic and steal some of their ships. I will consider it. Consider it. My main goal is I want to go against the Huts. I don't really want to mess around with the New Republic. There are advantages and disadvantages to go into war with the New Republic. The main disadvantage is they will crush us like a bug if we're not careful. Um, they seem... So we can call this the south part of the system. South uh, that we're in on the system map. The New Republic fleets down here do seem to steamroll um, the Imperial Ascendancy and the... Um, uh, a note federation unfortunately on x4 it's not a game where you can be the superhero and have your little fighter oh 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 no 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 oh we're working oh we're back he was just not loading it fantastic where's my ship gone where's my ship oh i'm still in the ship oh so i bet this thing bloody shot us right um i don't want to go here Let's fly away. Is there anything else? I didn't want to do that mission anyway. It's a boring mission. Um, peace and stability. We'll do that. Patrol castle. Uh, I'm going to do a, Ness, uh, a Nelson. And I'm going to just say I don't see any enemies. Just this cargo that needs to be investigated. Oh, we can... Uh, This has got no, virtually no guns, has it? Ooh, um, oh, it's good, wasn't it? We managed to uh, look out a bit. Wow, this is a twitchy ship. Um, wow, there is a hell of a lot of stuff flying around here. Um, where's these containers? Container. They're the main things we're bothered about. The loot. The aftermarket loot uh, from the carnage. We'll have a look at those big ships in a minute. Um, yeah, comment-wise, going to war with the New Republic. We, yeah, negatives, it's crushed like a bug. Positives, there is potential for ships to be dropped. Um, so ships get dropped when, obviously, so much damage uh, occurs to them. It's not massively common in this mod. Um, it works well with the Empire versus the New Republic because power-wise, they are fairly evenly matched. So in the big battles, you get um, a lot of a lot of kind of like uh, pilots abandoning ships and stuff like that. Um, Whereas with the um, against the Imperial Ascendancy and that, even though technically speaking on paper, I think the ships are fairly evenly matched. The Imperial Ascendancy don't don't tend to uh, do particularly well. Um, like if we look at the map, where is the Imperial Ascendancy? 
Yeah, they're, they're kind of like down here. They've got some territory. They've got quite a substantial bit of territory, but they just, I don't know, they seem to die quickly and don't really fight back. So this system used to be full. Um, it's, it's packs has been severely damaged. Um, I think Kira has had quite a few hits as well. Um, Milago isn't occupied by anyone. But yeah, the they tend to just storm from what I've seen on most of the, the kind of like playthroughs. The the, Imperi the the New Republic seem to just storm them. We would have to deal with that. Um, but partly as well, like we were not in a position where we'd be... So you can go to the... If, you, if you're wanting to go to war with factions on this game, I'd sort of say you can go to war with factions like the Huts... The ICG, um, Naboo, Camino, um, and maybe the CSA fairly early on because their ships aren't as good. Basically, um, you can you can kind of like get away with some hit and run strikes and maybe take out a few ships and stuff like that. The New Republic. The, the, uh, Mandalorians and Imperials if you start being silly with them um, they don't like it and they do kill you quite badly they um, so yeah we will have to build a bigger fleet so maybe so it'll all be dependent I suppose on how the updates fall with the game um, um, really so if the game gets updated before then, um, before, uh, you know, after we've beaten the huts, then we'll, we'll, we'll probably take some territory and take the fight to the huts, uh, to the New Republic. Um, if not, then we will, um, we'll, we'll start a new cam campaign. Um, and the other thing as well... If you if you like wanting to see wars with the New Republic and stuff like that, I that's kind of what the Imperial campaign is. Um, the last episode I did, uh, boom, boom, boom. Yes, we're fighting for the ICG. Honest. Um, let's watch this poor bugger get killed. Um, fire back. Use that little derpy turret. Oh, he's he's doing it. He's 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 having a go back. Good lad. Oh no, he's getting sucked into the uh, um, the wake of that uh, neutron. Um, yeah, the, the the Imperial campaign. We're we're at war with the New Republic. Last episode, uh, we had our first kind of uh, engagement with the New Republic. Um, it went okay. We did lose uh, a star destroyer, which wasn't wasn't ideal. Let's just say that. It made me a little bit sad to lose the Raditz Spain. But that is war. We did manage to take out quite a few um, New Republic ships uh, in in kind of like the process. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's the main comments that we've been getting at the minute. Um, this ship really needs an update, doesn't it? I mean, not not. I'm not not having to go at the mods. So God, man, update the ships. But I think um, this this definitely needs a little bit of uh, love and attention to kind of like bring it up to spec with the rest of the ships. Um, well, there was a sneak peek on Discord the other day. Uh, I'm sure there was. Uh, what was it a sneak peek of? So they've shown off the Mandalorian, the new Mandalorian ship. Um, so at the minute, the what's about on the guild? Uh, Mongaza. So at the minute, if you were to buy uh, the modified Nabubian Starfighter, it would look like this. So it looks cool. It's a Naboo Starfighter, but it's uh, obvi obviously it's uh, an early early version of the model. A bit basic. Uh, it's got like it's got all the, the to me. It's got like the noticeable features to sort of say, oh yeah, that's uh, Mando's ship. 
That's uh, Ginger Adams' ship. It's got the the cool kind of hot rod engine, which uh, looks really cool, but I don't 100% understand on a Star Wars spaceship. This, If this relies on air intake in the vacuum of space, you're going to cause problems. Uh, it's got the standard Naboo... Um, uh, engines on it um, from thing. So it's, it's kind of you know what it is. It fits for purpose. Uh, but the new one is kind of like nut and bolt, completely different, um, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, and there was another sneak peek as well. Let me just check on my phone. Let's see if we can see what it was. Um, I would highly recommend anyone that's not part of the. Uh, X4 SW mod Discord to join it. Um, development sneak peeks. Oh, yeah, it's... Um, I don't know what ship it is. It, it looks a bit like a Cylon Raider. Um, it's not a ship I'm familiar with. Um, it's kind of like a funky-looking... Daggery winged shape, twin wing uh, thing looks pretty cool. Um, and yeah, the uh, the new Mandalorian ship uh, looks gorgeous. The rendering and everything is fantastic. I mean, obviously, all these new things could be a contributing factor of why my why X four is running pretty bad at the minute. Um, but yeah, what can what can you do? What can you do? It's just one of those things. You've got to roll with the punches. Um, we're pretty much done in this sector, aren't we? The the ICG. Um, like I said, this is mainly an update video. We're not, we're not we're not actually going to war with the CSA. This is a way to for me to just get money and get what I want. This is what I'd be doing off offline, if you know what I mean. Um, basically, just. I suppose it's cheesing the system in a lot of ways. Um, oh, Edu. Edu's now CSA. Oh, they're pushing through. Oh, Edu's always been CSA. Which way did we come in? Did we come through Edu? I'm sure that used to be long to the, um, the, guys, the guys and girls of the ICG. Maybe not. Um, you're in Teth. What are you doing in Teth? Oh, cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna we're just gonna do this. Finish this mission. I don't think I've got anything else I can say or do or mention or anything like that at this moment in time. Um, So, I'm going to leave it here. It gives us about a 30 minute episode. Um, uh, I am going away tomorrow. Well, well, I'll be going away the same time this, uh, the same day this video goes away for a week. So, I'm, uh, if I get a chance later on today, uh, I'll, I'm going to record something else. Um, I might, might do a little bit of a recording of, um, uh, like look, a quick look at some uh, which occasionally we do on the channel. Um, I I actually bought uh, the the Gladiator game for we who were about to die, uh, and I've been enjoying that quite mightily. Um, I managed to do two of the runs with the uh, civilian and with the soldier. I think it was. Um, so we might we might have a look at that the full full game just so we've got something coming out next week. Um, I'll know I'll definitely not be able to get anything out next week, uh, as a, especially video game related, because um, I'm away away. Uh, it's it's Monday. It's Friday to Friday. Um, so yeah, uh, unfortunately we'll we'll be having a week off. But at least we've managed to have. A um, a good stab at getting an episode out this week. I know it's not the best. Uh, I know the content has been 
a bit lackluster in some regards lately. I do apologise for that. That is, like I said, this is it's basically down to me fighting fighting the machine. Um, <laughs> which, yeah, is always good fun. So, with that, um, I have been Captain Jack Gumption. And until next time, uh, I'll, I'll see you then.